Hi everyone and welcome to Brick Arena. Now this vlog is going out on Christmas Eve and I just wanted to take a couple of seconds at the start of the video to wish everyone a wonderful uh, Christmas. Um, I hope you all have a, a great holiday season. Um, I hope you all get lots of nice gifts. Uh, I hope you all spend lots of quality time uh, with the family. Don't work too hard on your stores and um hope you get lots of nice uh, uh goodies to to eat and and lots of treats and um i also want to take a little bit of time to thank you all for the past year um to to thank you for uh watching the vlog uh to subscribing to placing orders to supporting me on coffee to sending free gifts that some people have done this year all of that is really, really appreciated. Now, um, just subscribing to the channel uh, would be wonderful. I, you know, I don't ask very often, um, but it would be great if you could subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And do make sure that you hit that notification button and um, you'll be notified uh, when new videos are out. Now, if you're not familiar with the schedule, you'll get a new vlog uh, every week on a Sunday at 6 p.m. UK time. And that seems to be a good time that works for, for everybody. And um, again, thanks so much for, for watching effectively my working life. Uh, I know that some weeks are better than others. So I thank you for staying with me through the weeks that are less exciting than others. I can tell you that this week's, I think, is a, a busy and interesting week with some of the things that have uh, that we've had in uh, at the store. Now, um, I've mentioned subscribing. Um, it would be fantastic if you could subscribe, but also if you want to um, buy me a coffee, you can do that on my uh, coffee page. Or if you just, you know, want to support us by uh, placing an order, um, that would be fantastic as well. So, again, uh, just want to wish you all a wonderful Christmas period. And uh, I'll speak to you all soon. And I hope you enjoy this week's vlog. It's Sunday the 17th of December. And there's one week to go until Christmas. And uh, in fact, tomorrow is the last day for posting second class within the UK in uh, terms of it arriving before uh, Christmas or at least guaranteed arrival before Christmas. Um, so I expect everyone here to, have, um, you know, be putting their orders in, probably hoping that they're going to get them before Christmas and I'll be doing my best to uh, make sure that that happens um, from my side at least uh, which means getting these out uh, tomorrow on time um, trying to catch the post in the morning if not then uh, anything that misses that will go out later uh, tomorrow um, but uh, let's have a look at what we've got anyway we've got um, uh, 11 orders going out on Bricklink um, 101 lots uh, so not an enormous amount of lots 800 and 867 items uh, so all fairly uh, easy to pick the highest lot count across all of those is uh, 29 items uh, if we look on brick owl now we've got seven orders on brick owl and on there we've got 186 lots uh, for 854 items. There's one order there with 131 uh, lots there, um, which still needs to be picked. So that one's going to be the most uh, time consuming of them all. Um, if we go and have a look on eBay, we've got um, five items paid for and um, need to be posted tomorrow. So eBay's probably wound down a little bit uh, for me over the last week, certainly slowed, um, but that's probably uh, due to what I've been uh, putting in there as much as anything. 
Uh, let's have a little look at what's going out then. So on eBay, we've got uh, an order for three minifigs here. Now, one of them I don't have. So I'm going to have to either refund that or I'm actually trying to get a another seller, a friend of mine, uh, to ship. But um, he's not uh, he's not answering at the moment. I know he's got one and I'm just trying to check whether he's he could get that out for me tomorrow. If not, I'll have to refund um, then we've got on eBay uh, an Injago set, uh, 70622, going out for £37 plus postage. And then we've got a Minecraft farm worker. And then we'll get on to the Bricklink orders uh, with this Hoth officer and a little part going out there. And then we've got a minifigure going out. Now you'll see that there's nothing actually on this piece of paper at the moment. Uh, this is for a Lord Business uh, minifigure at £30, and it's new. And uh, this is, in fact, still in the set, uh, because this is a, a sealed set that I've had for a while. And um, I can't remember when I did it, quite some time ago, I think. I must have listed just the Lord Business minifigure. And the reason I did that was because it was a... Uh, a high-ish value uh, minifig at £30 and I figured if that sold then I would open the box sell the figure and part out the rest and some of the other figures uh, which are on here go for reasonable money the uh, business kitty goes uh, for I think that sold last time for about £12 similarly the Vitruvius others are not so expensive uh, a figure um, but I've ended up, I had a look on eBay a while ago and they weren't really selling um, that well, these sets uh, are for that higher value. So I figured why not go the part out route, uh, which is what we'll do. So I still need to get that particular figure out of the box and um, get it ready to go off with the order. And um, we've got three sheep going out. And then we've got a little order from uh, one of my regular uh buyers and a regular contributor to comments on the youtube channel um pretty much leaves me a message every week and um we have a great shared interest in, in music etc uh, so that's really appreciated um i had uh, heard from him a week or two ago and he told me that was his last order for 2023 but he's gone ahead and placed another one anyway um small order for parts there and uh, more sort of general parts orders going out as you can see all relatively uh, modest um, then we've got a party banana juice bar uh, set going out there for six pounds and then over here we've got a few more uh, lots of parts going out including uh, another order uh, which is from another uh, watcher of the channel, actually, uh, this one. And they left a nice little comment in the uh, order to say they were placing this to support the uh, the channel and myself and uh, that there's no rush for this. They weren't desperate to get it um, before uh, Christmas. And um, they uh, just wished us all of the best for the Christmas period. And uh, so thanks for that uh, order there. Then we've got a, an order here for lots of tan and uh, and uh, medium nugget parts going out in an order. And then another uh, parts order there for some um, uh, boulders, etc. So um, I need to get the minifigure out of there. And then I'm going to get this little lot packed up, uh, ready to post in the morning. I think that's probably going to do me for tonight. Uh, the rest of the orders I'll get picked in the morning and uh, hopefully make it in time for the post office. So it's Monday morning and it's time to uh, get to the post office in uh, in the next 30 minutes. I've spent the, uh, the morning picking the remainder of the orders. I uh, didn't get any more orders coming in overnight uh, after about 9, 10 o'clock last night. Um, so I think one of them I touched on uh, last night. The other orders, a uh, small order here for a couple of torsos. Uh, a little order here for some um, classic um, 
uh, heads, etc. And then the largest order of all was this one, which is predominantly yellow and orange uh, parts. And I'll be really intrigued to know what this customer's uh, building. Uh, they have uh, bought from me pretty regularly, uh, this customer on, uh, on Bricow. Uh, this is the largest order at, I think, 131 lots. Uh, so, uh, not sure if that was the highest value, but certainly the highest lot count and the one that took the longest uh, to pick. So, um, i just got to get these uh, uh, packed up, add it to the rest of the post, and then I've got lots to do uh, today. Um, I've still got to upload the stuff uh, that I got from uh, Steve last week and uh, we've got a couple of parcels that I need to open and get added uh, to the store. Um, I'm probably going to uh, part that uh, uh, Lego movie set out. I've still got a couple of other sets to part out as well and the place is an absolute mess as usual. Uh, so lots and lots to do when I get back. So we've got two orders here that I need to uh, get opened and get uh, put away. So let's have a look at uh, what they are. Uh, first one up is a quick link order. Uh, just ordered some uh, parts that I needed. So we've got lots of one by twos in uh, uh, light blue, trans light blue. We've got some some uh, minifig stands in black and uh, light bluish grey. And then we've got various uh, other parts here as well that um, just happened to pick up while I was uh, at the store. And then the next box is this one. And this was an eBay uh, purchase. And that's just a little bit of a giveaway on there. So this was listed, if I can get it out of the box, as uh, plants or leaves. Let me just get this out. Just move it up here. So, um, let's see what we can make of the package. So what this was, was a listing that just had, you know, a bunch of parts laid out. And there were things in there that I found interesting, like this. And some other parts. There were lots of um, leaves in there. There were lots of, from memory, there were lots of cannon bases and cannons. Uh, things like this. And I think I paid, and then we've got, yeah, get to it. We've got a yellow, a yellow dragon uh there from a helmet which in itself could be worth a fair, fair amount um so i'm quite interested to get this out and i'll show you this in more detail in a while but i'm pretty confident i'm gonna make um more than my 20 something pounds back on uh, on this one so uh, i think this is going to be a nice little uh purchase so i'll let you know how we get on with that uh, now, in the meantime, we've had uh, two more orders come in for today, which I need to get out because today is the last day for second hand, uh, second hand, <laughs> second class uh, mail. And it turned out I got a message after after this one. It's someone who actually watches the vlogs who's bought these on eBay. And um, they said that, um, you know, they love watching the vlogs, that it's inspired them and they're going to be setting up a Bricklink store in the future. And then uh, we've sold, uh, I think, 62 of these uh, track pieces going out as well on Brick Elm. So I'm going to um, crack on and get some of this put away. I'll probably put this uh, new stuff away first because that's going to be easy to get uh, listed. And then I can spend a bit more time going through this and seeing what we've managed to get our hands on. So here I am with the package that I uh, unpacked earlier today and um, I'm just going to start having a look through it. 
and I've tipped it all into this tray just so that I can uh, show you a little more easily uh, what's in here um, but immediately when I did this um, I spotted that stuck in the bag I don't know if you can see that is that little yellow uh, plume there now straight away that to me says money <laughs> So if um, we have a little uh, look on, um, let's have a look on Bricklink and let's just uh, find the plume. Uh, we want parts and it's one of these here in yellow. And they're selling, the plume used is selling alone for nearly five pounds. So that's that's the first item that I've pulled out of there um, is coming up nearly five pounds. And um, I think I said, I can't remember exactly what I paid for this. I'll look it up uh, in, in a little while. But I want to say about 25, maybe 27 pounds, something like that. Um and i talked about you know would i make my money back well there you go there's five pound of it back already um now on top of that in here i can see the things like shields um there's another couple of pounds worth uh for that shield um things like these saddles which i'd noticed um in the in the listings picture that there was a bunch of these saddles uh, that will be worth money. Um, the other thing um, was there were lots of these, which are typically worth a, a pound or two. Um, then you've got um, all of the cannon bases and cannons. And again, they're worth uh, a reasonable amount of money. Then on the top here, we've got this uh, flag. Uh, which I suspect is going to be worth a little bit of uh, of money too, and um, we can go and have a look at that on uh, brick uh, brick store. So if we look up this picture, then I think that is the flag in yellow. So that looks like being worth about five pounds as well for the flag so um five pounds five pounds how much are these um let's have a look so we've got these in green not as much as i thought uh for those so they're gonna be about 60 P or so, well, there's a bunch of them in there. Um, there was at least five or six that I saw in there. Uh, we've got other shields uh, in there. What else do we have? I know that I'd seen, um, would that come up? Maybe if I go back to here, um, when I looked for the plume, we know that there was a yellow one of these because I saw that earlier. Uh, so a yellow one of those, £1.40, not, uh, not massive. But you see how the accumulation of um, parts, you know, should make the money back. So I'll crack on and I'll sort through some of this and um, try and get some of it uh, listed into a brick store file. And I'll report back and show you what I found and what it's worth. Here's a quick update on sorting out this uh, used batch, uh, just so that you can get an idea uh, or a clearer idea of what was in there. Now I have started to list uh, some of the things into a brick store file. So we talked about having these um, bushes uh, here, these prickly bushes, there was four of those. There were the blue saddles. Uh, there was one or two that were broken um, that I've disposed of, so not including those. Um, there's the uh, three brown cannon bases. 
Um, found a couple of um, slightly more unusual things. This is a, a Fabuland uh, lawnmower uh, that's worth a couple of pounds. We've got an old style um, motorbike. Uh, we've got um, the um, um, sort of coconut tree uh, bases here. Haven't added any of the uh, weapons yet, but you can see there's lots of lances, uh, spears, uh, guns, etc. There's the few sort of uh, smaller uh, plumes that we talked about, including the, the yellow plume here, the flag we talked about, a few shields. And then we've got a, a few bits of minifigure stuff and uh, weapons and things. Again, none of that listed, none of the plant stuff listed. Um, so we've got in here, you know, the bushes, the cannon bases, the palm trees, the door, you know, pretty much what I've just kind of uh, shown you. And that's coming in at about £80 worth. Now, remember, I haven't priced these properly yet. Um, and I need to check the, the quantities. But we're already up to about £80. Now, this is going to end up... Um, way above 100 i think or, or over 100 i would expect um and um we'll we'll come back and check uh when uh we have finished the file or are near to finishing it i probably won't process everything because there's a few you know regular kind of parts in here i'll end up uh sifting down as far as i want to and then just dump those into a, another used uh tub uh for sorting at a later date and um i'll come back to you and show you what we've got but for a i still haven't double checked but i said about a 25 pound so if i make a hundred then i'm forexing the amount that i've paid which i'd be very happy with so and they're all good things that would sell all of those uh, the shields that flag the plumes um the weapons the the uh, greenery etc are all going to sell through uh, pretty quickly i would imagine so i'm super happy with this lot and uh, uh wish i could get my hands on more so we've just got a couple more orders in uh to add to the pile to go to the uh, post office this afternoon and i'm doing that extra run because of it being the last posting date for second class even though some of these people may not be in a rush uh, for the items and one of the reasons that I wanted to um, show you this particular order was because if you remember the gift of Lego that Steve sent me last week I've actually just uploaded that to the store about two hours ago I want to say maybe three and I've had the first order in that contains one of the items. And the item is this printed tile that you might uh, recall uh, comes from the brick bank. Now there's a little bit of damage to the tile uh, on the edges. Um, there's a, a few little nicks. And the tile, I think, was listed at about... I don't know, 12 pounds, something like that. And I've listed this for eight pound 50 um, because of the uh, uh, damage, so to speak, to the tiles. I mean, it's barely noticeable. If you, if you look at it, you don't really notice. If you feel the edges, you can tell. Uh, but anyway, that sold um, uh, pretty much straight away. So uh, really pleased with that. And yet again, uh, thanks for that, Steve. Uh, now, uh, another order in on uh, eBay for a little friend's uh, minifig, uh, which I imagine is going in someone's stocking or something, but who knows. Um, so uh, I'm going to get these packed up now and I'm going to get off to the post office shortly and drop these in the post box. Um, give you another little update on how we get in on with sorting the other yeah, used stuff. You can see that the desk's a lot clearer now. If I go and open up uh, Brickstore again, show you the file I'm working on. So we're continuing to add items to the list here. Some weapons, some flags. Uh, you'll see 
weapons, etc. Still more to list and my current total is £112. So yeah, as I expected, uh, you know, I knew we'd get over a hundred and um, let's see exactly where we end up. Uh, but I am getting close to where I probably won't bother too much. Got a bit of a mess going on, so you can't see too much of the tree at the moment. Got a few drawers to put away, um, but still got more weapons, some minifig stuff, some guitars, etc. And um, we should be getting close to what we'll consider a final number and we'll get it uploaded. Here's another update on the uh, file that I've been working on for this package that arrived. So as you can see, we've still got quite a bit in the tray here uh, to sort out. I've not got down as far as I would like to. Um, so that's probably going to spill over to tomorrow or something I'll come back to at a later date. Um, but uh, for now, um, I've added in all of the items uh, that we talked about earlier with the plants, the plumes, the greenery, etc., weapons, and now we've got onto some of the minifig related stuff. And we ended up with um, 142, 143 pounds worth nearly. Um, now, I reckon there's still, I don't know, another. 20 pounds worth here probably um based on what we've done so far a lot of this is basic but there's you know there's there's parts like these uh drums um you know ladders uh all kinds of stuff there's still a few uh bits of weapons in there and um yeah i reckon at least 10 10 15 20 pounds still in there so again for a 20 something pound purchase i think that's worked out pretty well tuesday the 19th and uh, we've still got orders uh, coming in although i do think uh, that some people are, are panicking about getting them uh, to them by christmas this one has been upgraded to first class on ebay so the uh, customer's obviously hoping to get it uh, before Christmas. Now this, I, I almost feel a little bit embarrassed because I mean, this is a tiny, tiny set and it's sold for 46 pounds. Um, but um, you know, if that's the market price, then that's the market price. So um, we'll get that chipped off and um, uh, hopefully customers happy with that one and then uh, we've got uh, a few parts orders we've got uh, uh, one here for a, a bunch of different parts and a, a windshield um, we've got an issue with a couple of mud guards on that one uh, just waiting to uh, hear back from the customer and i think it's going to be a cancellation because that's going to germany uh, then uh, uh largest order of the day is this one um 50 something lots uh from a new uh customer uh new to brick owl that uh so uh, first order they've placed or at least they don't have any uh, feedback and uh, it must be the first order because i think they'd only had an account for like 10 minutes or something when they when they ordered so um i'm sure everything will be fine with that and this is uh from another uh, seller don't know whether it's for personal use or not uh, but um, uh, this is from uh, a, a guy who's on one of the forums I'm on uh, Jason and uh, I'll get this out to him this morning as well uh, for me uh, the rest of the day uh, we've got a couple of orders here to get opened and uh, get added to the store just finished my breakfast need to decide to do uh, what I'm going to do with this, I'm probably just going to um, put these parts away or most of them uh, away uh, into uh, my various sort of tubs here at the back. And I've um, got a few more things to add to the store. And then uh, I could do with thinking about having a bit of a tidy up. But um, we'll see how we go. We'll get this lot packed away first. Just been putting together a few more minifigs. Uh, nothing um, super extensive, just the five minifigs. But there's a couple of nice ones. Um, we've got this um, castle peasant child 
uh, which is worth about £15. A couple of collectible minifigures there. We've got a Griff uh, Halloran from Star Wars, who's worth about a tenner. And a Abe Lincoln from the Lego movie is worth about another four fifty. Uh, so we're going to get those added to the store. Um, just being able to mo make those up from a couple of orders that came in, which I uh, didn't uh, show on camera. Um, but um, nothing super exciting to show anyway, to be quite honest. Uh, so now I'm going to get back to uh, uh, got a couple more orders come in, which I need to go and pick just small orders. And then uh, we'll get back to sorting some of this uh, stuff out to go up uh, to the store again. Still got this sat on the desk, which um, I, I need to finish. I got distracted with a few other things this morning, some uh, jobs for Christmas and, and one thing and another. Uh, but we're going to get back to it uh, right after I've put these minifigs away. I've just priced and uploaded the parts that I was working on across uh, yesterday and today. This was the uh, used lot that I bought on eBay. And um, I just wanted to give you an update um, after I'd priced it. Just to give you a, a clearer idea of what we ended up with. So we ended up with 253 items in 131 lots and that ended out at 153 pounds uh, there or thereabouts and um we um we we bought it uh I, I did look last night i think it was 22 pounds plus postage so um probably around the 25 pounds uh, mark now Oh, one of the things, you know, we always talk about um, the benefits of new versus used, etc. And um, the thing is with used is that, you know, you often find items that are worth a, a relatively uh, significant value per item uh, compared to new items that you get. So with, with new, obviously you're parting out a set, you know exactly what you're gonna get in that set and you know the value of the items in there. And more often than not, they're you know, a, a pretty uh, typical price range from you know a, a penny to maybe up to a, a pound or a little bit more. Um, now, when you get uh, to the used stuff like this, you know, we've got lots of items here uh, that are five pound plus, uh, four pound plus in the threes, the twos, the the ones, you know, and this goes down and down um, for a reasonable way. And even then, you're getting into items that are at the the high end of a pound. Um, so. You know that when you get items like that and they're they're a reasonable value, then obviously um, you don't need too many for it to start to make a, a decent amount of money, and that's why a lot of people deal with minifigs really because their minifigs are, are highly sought after and the price per part is is significant and you maybe don't need uh, so much uh, in in terms of space to store minifig parts etc. Um, but anyway, you know, in terms of a part out value, if that's the, the right term in this instance, um, converting about £25 to £153 is um, one of the reasons for doing uh, used. It's Wednesday the 20th and uh, let's have a look at what we got this morning. Of course, um, a lot of this is second class, so it's already missed any deadlines for arrival for Christmas. Today is the last day for first class uh, shipping, but I don't think anyone has particularly chosen first class. So I, I'm guessing that no one's in a major hurry for, for this stuff. Um, we've got a, a little order here uh, for some uh, car related items going off to Germany. Um, uh, an order here for another seller i might have mentioned this one yesterday i had a little problem with the rat because they'd ordered a white rat and this one's actually glow in the dark um but they're uh, okay to send this anyway um uh some more uh general sort of parts orders nothing too big 
uh, to mention here, we've got a little um, Chima figure going out with that particular order. A couple of minifigs here, Harry Potter and a snub fighter, a Professor Sinistra, that one is. And then we've got the last of our um, Team GB instructions going out. And then we've got some uh, a little order for some um, uh, weapons there, some grey plates, a few minifig parts, and got one of those cannon bases going out here for £4.50. And then we've got some uh, one by 2 black bricks and a couple of other uh, bits and pieces there as well. And um, that's it for this morning. I think 11 orders there. We'll get those packed up ready for the uh, the post and then we'll get cracking with some other things. Um, I had hoped to have some more uh, things arriving today but looking at the the tracking uh, it's still not coming and uh, that's it's a fiasco that I might go into more detail in when um, I actually receive it but it's been three weeks at least get into me uh, through two different carriers and it's just been an absolute nightmare but anyway i'll get cracking and get this lot off to the post office first job for this morning is to go through this box uh which has still got a fair few minifigs and things in this is a box that i got uh from someone from ebay um who contacted me um uh, probably a month or more back now um and i just never got to the bottom of it um there was a bunch of extra stuff in here that uh, i needed to decide what to do with whether to put it on um uh, bricklink ebay whatever so i'm just gonna work through um the rest of the box first item i've just come to is this uh, joker minifigure um which is new but has been taken out of the uh poly uh, bag so we'll get that listed and um, work our way through the rest of this as well so it's been about 45 minutes i've uh, been adding uh, figures and a couple of other bits to the store from uh, the box i showed you earlier and we've ended up with uh, 48 items uh, 43 lots for 76 pounds so that's an additional 76 pounds i've got out of that um box of of figures that I did quite some time ago, so um, really worthwhile uh, doing that. Got those um, ready to upload uh, to the store. But I need to stop right now because um, I'm about to get lunch shortly, which is not the important thing. But I've also got a call coming up uh, shortly with uh, Mathis, uh, who I believe is French. Um, and he certainly goes by the name Frenchy. Uh, now, he has sent me a whole raft of questions, very well structured, etc., to go through. Uh, so I am going to be uh, looking through some of those, trying to prep a little bit for our session. And um, we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, he sounds like he's, uh, he, he's got a ton of, of questions and... Um, He's really looking to how he can grow his store in uh, Europe. And um, I, I think he's run into some difficulties and he's uh, he said he's facing bankruptcy. I presume he means from the store and not not in life in general. But um, we'll we'll see how we get on and hopefully we can uh, point him in the right direction to start turning things around and making some improvements. So I just finished my call with Mathis, a uh, really nice uh, guy uh, from France. Uh, you know, been on his uh, Bricklink journey, Lego journey for a, a little while, but needed a little bit of uh, guidance just to help him sort of think through the business model he's going to use going forward, etc. And to give a few other tips here and there. And he's put this uh, funny little comment um that uh, in his uh, PayPal transaction, uh, having just paid me for the session. And um, on a separate note, we just had another message from another um, 
uh, buyer on Brickall this time. Um, and uh, in this instance, they were messaging me to thank me for the part that they bought from me, but also to share what it was that they've been building. And uh, what they've been building is this uh, drum kit, which they've also submitted to Lego Ideas. Um, so it's a cool little uh, drum kit here. And uh, if anyone wants to support it, um, search out this title and uh, you might find it. Not too many supporters at the moment. I will give my support to it. Oh, I'm going to have to log in to do that. But um, I, uh, I will do that in a second. And uh, always good to see what people are building, of course, uh, with the parts that you send them. And um, if anyone else wants to share... Uh, what they've been building with the parts that they've got uh, from us, uh, drop me a line and let me know. The latest job for me is to set up my listing for the Collectible Minifigure Series 25, which I'm expecting in the next couple of days. I've uh, got a couple of cases coming in and we'll see how they go and then we'll think about buying more if they uh, sell well. So um, I've set up my... Uh, uh, multi-variant listing and just got a preview of it going on here um, with all the relevant pictures and everything just good to get ahead um, I've seen that some other people have got listings on there for pre-orders uh, mine won't be going up as a pre-order mine will be available for sale uh, as soon as they uh, arrive uh, which may be before Christmas even so um Fingers crossed, uh, we'll see how we get on with that. And um, hopefully there's no issues. Well, look what's just arrived. Uh, these have just come uh, via Royal Mail. I'm expecting a couple more tomorrow, actually. And uh, these are Series 25 minifigs. And uh, I said yesterday that I was prepping my... Um, pre-sale uh, listing on eBay. Can't actually get them out with one hand, but um, all here, Series 25, and um, we'll see um, how quickly we can get these out. Um, we'll get start getting these opened, and uh, I should be able to start dispatching any orders uh, today because we have already got orders on eBay uh, for them. So, uh, really pleased about that. Um, getting in really quick uh, this time round, and uh, I'm sure people will appreciate getting these early. So, I better crack on and get them done. So, it's Thursday afternoon, and uh, we've got the uh, first batch of the minifig orders going out. I'll show you them in one second. We've got um, on eBay a, a Naya Core minifigure going out. And then we've got a few parts orders on uh, Bricklink. Uh, nothing too much to say about those. Then we get to the eBay orders and these are the first uh, eBay orders that are shipping out. I don't know anyone else on eBay that's actually shipping these at the moment. Everybody's taking pre-orders. Um, so um, I think we're doing pretty well in getting these out uh, to people. So first order up has got uh, one of the uh, Vampire Knights and the Goat Herder. Next order has got two of the Vampire Knights and the Goat Herder. And then we've got three of the Goat Herders, a Vampire Knight and the uh, Dinosaur Suit Guy. So we always knew which were gonna be, you know, the popular, uh, uh, sellers and that being the goat herder and the um, vampire now uh, I'm selling those at $8.99 a piece um, but you do get a discount for multiples uh, so it does pay to buy multiples you buy three or more you'll get 20% off you buy two you'll get 10% off etc so um, I'm gonna get uh, those off to the post office shortly because being Thursday it's a late night uh, posting date so we've got a mound of empty boxes now that i need to crush and dispose of luckily recycling's 
come in today. Uh, this is the second box uh, bagged uh, that I just need to get put away. And I can confirm that there's exactly three sets in each box, although I will say that the distribution wasn't the same across both boxes. So I don't think you're gonna be able to go into a store with confidence and go and pick one from a certain row, even on a sealed box, and, and know with 100% certainty that it's gonna be that figure. Um, so uh, watch out uh, for that if that's your, your plan. Um, now we've also got, I won't show this right now, but we've got another box of Lego that's just arrived. So we'll be getting that opened and I'll show you that a little later. Uh, but right now, I really need to get those packed and off to the post office. Well, it's Friday the 22nd. Uh, this is the last day that I'm going to be working uh, on the store before the Christmas break. Um, even through the Christmas period, my plan is really to just process any orders that come in. And other than that, I'm just going to take it easy. So I don't know how that's going to pan out for uh, the vlog. It's not going to make for a very interesting vlog. So we'll think about uh, how we're going to manage that and... Um, we'll see, we might even miss a, a, a vlog for a week, who knows. Um, but uh, anyway, let's have a quick look at um, the orders going out today. There's only a, a few, uh, I mean, obviously these are not going to make it uh, for Christmas. So these are people just buying parts in the way that they would regularly, uh, no Christmas intent um, for, for these, at least that's what I would hope. Um, so just some you know basic parts orders going out. Got a hundred of the profile bricks going out there with a few other bits and pieces that look a bit Star Wars related. We've got a Minecraft goat going out, and then we're on to the eBay stuff. Um, we've got a full set of uh, collectible minifigs going out to uh, Emma, and I mention Emma because. Um, she is uh, actually a regular buyer uh, from me on Bricklink and she reached out on uh, on eBay to see uh, what I could do in terms of a full set and um, to be honest with you there are some good deals on sets on eBay that I just couldn't even touch I mean people putting them out at you know around the 50 pound mark or, or even less and I just don't know how they make any money on on that at all I mean I make you know relatively uh modest margins on these as it is at the price I'm buying at. and I'm not buying at retail I am buying them uh cheaper but I, I don't know how people are able to push uh full sets out at the price they are they must be buying dozens and dozens of cases of them I imagine um so that was a full set going out and then we've literally just had another order in for another four uh going out so not a bad start you know we've only been listing these for just over a day uh, we sent some out yesterday uh as well two three orders yesterday i think uh, mainly for the popular ones being the vampire knight and the the goat herder uh they're the big ones so anyway, we're going to get those packed up and then we're going to get back and uh, we need to start tackling this box. So I'll be showing you what that is shortly. Well, it's time to show you what's in the box here. And uh, this box has had a bit of a troubled journey getting to me. It's taken over three weeks to get here through two different couriers. It was first sent by every and... Um, it just never ever arrived. Um, the tracking just said things like the parcel was bigger than expected and we needed to arrange different transport, etc. And then for some reason, it turned up back at the sender's address and neither of us have any idea why. And I believe every are even refusing to refund uh, for the delivery, which is crazy when they didn't actually deliver it. Um, it was then uh, delayed in getting sent back out to me and eventually was sent back out by DPD and DPD, as they always do, seem to deliver. I think DPD are fantastic in 
the experiences that I've had with them. But anyway, let's get to what's actually in the box. Um, so this is set 632563, which probably doesn't mean much to most of you, but um, let's have a look inside. And what these are is um, these are um, event packs. So basically, uh, Lego create these uh, packs for special events uh, that are kind of come and build. And um, this one is a vehicle uh, event. Um, there are typically, you know, obviously different uh, types. Um, now there was a couple available, I think. Oh my God, I don't even think I can lift this with one hand. It's so heavy. Let me just put the camera down a second. Well, that weighed an absolute ton and I just could not lift it with one hand easily. And it's actually about seven, seven kilos, I think, um, which probably doesn't sound uh, that much, but when you're trying to lift it um, out of the box and it's kind of, you know, sucked into the sides, etc. That's a surprise, there's even sort of printed uh, parts in here, didn't know that. So there's all sorts in here to make vehicles, lots of one by bricks, one by plates, two by four bricks, um, you know, just uh, lots and lots of stuff in here. Now, what is good about these is because they're event bags, you get everything in quantity. So you'll typically get, you know, probably at least... 40 to 100 of each uh, element. Uh, so I'm not sure how many sets they're designed to create, um, but um, I was sent the uh, brick store file in advance of buying the set, and uh, that showed me exactly what was in there. And there were, there were lots of, you know, good enough parts uh, that it was well worth buying. Uh, now, what does this cost? Uh, this cost, I think, 200 um, including shipping. So uh, not a bad buy, I think, for a bag full of Lego of that size, all new, all, you know, decent quality parts that uh, are hopefully going to sell pretty well. So the next job is uh, to try and part this out, which is going to be a bit of a challenge in terms of space um but uh, we'll see what we can do we'll do a little bit at a time maybe and uh, we'll get it parted out and added to the store well i've been at this a few hours now and uh, i've got pots all over the place of parts and um i was hoping to have gotten um all of this uh, sorted and uploaded but i don't think there's any chance that's going to happen um still got this lot to sort so if I'm lucky, I'm going to get it all um, sorted today or parted out, if that's the term you want to use. And um, I don't know when I'm going to get this uh, put away with the Christmas break coming up. So um, we'll just have to wait and see and uh, see uh, exactly uh, what the value turns out to be. And I can show you what parts we've got once we've got it all uploaded. Um, but you can see there's... All sorts of plates here, uh, two buys, one buys, uh, some slope bricks, one by four bricks, windshields, of course, uh, wheel rims, lots of two by four bricks in yellow, uh, white, black, uh, dark bluish grey, etc. Uh, so tons of, of good stuff in here, to be honest with you. Um, it's just uh, taken a little bit longer than I thought to get this parted out. It's Saturday the 23rd of December and things are not working out quite as I'd planned. I had hoped by now to be done for Christmas, have my room all tidy and uh, be just chilling and uh, relaxing. But that isn't the case because this room is absolute carnage at the moment. Um, I, as you know, parted out the uh, vehicle event set yesterday. And it took forever to do. Uh, it was over 9,000 parts, uh, 7 kilos of Lego. And um, 
it just seemed to go on forever, uh, to be honest. And um, as a result, I didn't manage to get it put away last night. I finished late on it last night, had another call with another seller and um, was just not able to get this put away. So I need to get this tidied up. But I've also had a load more orders in, uh, all pri primarily for uh, collectible minifigs. So I need to go and uh, pick those. Uh, the problem is, I haven't got the figures out of these other two cases yet because um, the figures that I do have, which are in that box over there, um, you know, we've, from the first two cases, we've run out of the vampires, the goat herders and a couple of other things. And so I need to get the uh, remainder out of these two cases that I've not opened yet. So I really need to get a move on because it's 25 past 10 now and the post office shuts at uh, 12 and there's lots to do still well that was a little quicker than uh, i thought it was going to be so um, i managed to retrieve the figures i needed relatively quickly so let's have a look at what is actually going out this morning and as i've said uh, they're mostly the collectible minifigs so it's going to get very repetitive uh, three of the um uh, vampire knights going out We've got a Jurassic uh, World baby dinosaur, and then we've got uh, a harpy, a goat, a noir detective, and a, a mushroom uh, going out. Then we've got a harpy and a vampire knight. We've got the dinosaur suit, and then we've got four mushrooms and a noir detective going out. And then I uh, took an offer on this friend set, uh, 41100, I took an offer on that. And then we've got a Vampire Knight, a Warrior and a Goat Herder going out. And then just one Bricklink order going out. Uh, I have got a couple more, but I'm holding them back. I just haven't got time to pick them. Um, but this was an easy one, so I've picked it, and that's just a, a single uh, torso uh, there that's going out. So, in terms of orders, that's going to be me done uh, for pre-Christmas. Um, I will be posting orders throughout uh, the period between Christmas and New Year, but I'm not planning on doing a lot other than that. Uh, so, if orders are low, um, there's not going to be an awful lot happening and um i'm not sure what that means for the for the vlog the following week we'll just see what happens with that um but in the meantime i gotta get this lot uh off to the post office and then we can start and relax into the christmas period <laughs> 